Buenas chicos Y por aquí seguimos Con el siguiente capítulo de Deices Este en el capítulo 4 En el que Vamos a jugar una partida de rol Para salvar al chaval A era con que Me da risa Vamos a poner eso Oh, sí Totalmente lo hice You totally did. This game is awesome. Elamon comes around a corner to discover Chloe, the elf barbarian, sitting by a fire, roasting squirrels. Okay. So, so, I'm running from Dragonkin because of you. Remember when you killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? Turns out you offended their entire clan. And they're after me now. Wow. Well, I, I think that was really more of a team effort. You mean when you used your axe to cut out the key out of that dragonkin's stomach? Yeah, that was really a team effort. <laughs> well, you did manage to inflict an insane amount of damage on everything. Suddenly, Dragonkin scouts rush in, clawing you while your backs are turned. Take four damage. You're up first. What do you want to do? I do a spinning slash. Sixteen. Good enough. Uh -huh. You spin around, using your axe to slash all six Dragonkin at once. They all drop dead in a puddle of blood. Hey, nice one. Don't celebrate yet. You begin to hear the clinking armor of hundreds of dragonkin warriors. The sound grows louder as they grow closer. And this is why I was running. Oh, come on. You can totally take these fuckers down. I just killed six of them. Those were scouts, Chloe. Warriors are four times that hard. Oh. Well, shit. <laughs> Running and living. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You sprint as fast as you can until you come across a fork in the road. One path leads into the mouth of a deep, dark cave. The other takes you into a dense, misty forest. Which way do you go? Can I, you know, feel it out first? Totally. Roll for perception. Ugh. 13. Despite the desolate look of the caves, your elvish senses tell you that something does in fact live inside. Something unfriendly. That's some solid intel. Next. You turn to the forest. Though it seems still, you sense that what's inside is no, not invisible. entirely at rest. Okay. Come on. The dragonkin are still behind us. Maybe the dragonkin will mejor. follow us into the caves. Let's go there. I guess I don't have a better plan. You plunge into the darkness. The uneven, rocky terrain beneath your feet makes it difficult to navigate. You come around a corner to find a cube of bright green goo sitting in your path. Dead rats float around inside it, slowly Sorry. dissolving. Of course. It's a gelatinous polyhedron. You fall into it. Ugh. Seriously? It starts to burn your skin, a little at first, but the pain only grows the longer you stay stuck. I cast Scorching Scythe. Your flame-made scythe slices the gelatinous polyhedron in half, freeing your companion. <laughs> but right before your very eyes, the two halves grow and shift until you're face to jelly with two full gelatinous polyhedra. Damn. You're a move. 
Eu tô empatado. Striking smash. I'm gonna smash the shit at them. You bring the flat of your axe down over the polyhedra, smashing them each into three little globs. <laughs> but yet again, the chunks of jelly grow and shift until you're looking at a small army of six gelatinous polyhedra. Wh where do you do keep getting these? A good game master is always prepared. The polyhedra engulf you, burning any exposed skin and searing your clothes. Take 12 <clears throat> damage. I cast Ring of Fire. You send out a burst of fire, exploding the polyhedra into hundreds of What's tiny it? pieces. Um, <laughs> let's try Rage Roll. You curl up into an angry little elf ball and roll furiously around the caves, smashing each of the little English jelly bits into even more, even littler jelly bits. Uh, I feel like we should run. Run screaming. Luckily, gelatinous polyhedra have a very low movement speed. The party flees safely, but the polyhedra aren't far behind. You're near the exit of the caves when you run across. Okay. Oh shit! Is that me? You're gonna play? <laughs> yeah, little brother. Pavel, the arrogant gnome bard, joins your party. <laughs> arrogant. Arrogant. You're not used to words that big, are you? Damn. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? There's probably a squirrel somewhere that you can fight. I don't need violence to solve my problems. I just need the power of music. This is awesome. Fine, but don't slow us down. In the time you've been chatting, Capitulo the de army Africa. of gelatinous polyhedra has caught up to you. Several spew acid directly at Elamon. What do you do? I grab the bard and use him to shield Elamon. Whoa, hey, can she do that? <laughs> All's fair in love and table talk. You whip the bard's little body back and forth, catching every spear as they fly at you. The gnome shrieks, <laughs> perfect F sharp with every impact. That was sick. <laughs> oh my God. You're a monster. Oh, yeah. You burst forth into the majestic meadow, horizon to horizon. All you can see is lush green fields full of birds, flowers, and dragon kin. What? Instead of chasing you, they circle around to set a trap, and you just walked right into it. As the dragon kin ahead prepare to attack, The army of gelatinous polyhedra arrive behind you. I'm <sighs> We're surrounded and screwed. Ah, come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. Uh, I do have searing crystal. Perfect! Searing crystal, these fuckers! You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like... Like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything, including you and me. Actually, you did grab Durgron's Bracer of Fire Immunity. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. <sighs> But there's only one Bracer. <sighs> Mikey loves his character. I... I can't just let him get Elamon killed. Elamon, keep the bracer and cast the spell. I'll hold them off so you can survive. It won't work. Look at all of them. I should have never started this quest. I'm too weak. Come on! Free 
freaking wizard of the third circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avalon. Avernon. Yeah, that. See, you can do anything. Wow. You actually remember all of that? Oh, yeah. But I've never even used this spell before. What if I roll too low? I believe in you. I know you'll roll high. You're the only party member I've ever had who's actually helped me. I can't leave you behind. You're, like, the most heroic person I know. You help everyone. It's my turn to save you from something. No, Chloe, I won't just kill you. Don't be afraid, Eleanor. You are destined for great things. No, I won't abandon the best partner I've ever had. Mikey. I cast... Shield of Stars. Oh, boy. A dome of blinding light o sea, el personaje a la derecha que cojo, a la izquierda que cojones. Hola, se ha bugueado. They immediately <laughs> charge. <laughs> This sucks. Lol. The shield of stars withstand some of the blows, but wave after wave of attacks weakens it until until the shield gives out. Dragonkin and gelatinous polyhedra descend upon the party. Do we fight valiantly? Oh, yeah. By fire and sword, you take many of them down, though there are always more to take their place. Sounds like state last year. Their numbers overwhelm you, hacking you to death, or burning you with acid, or both. Eventually, you die. Your body's torn to pieces. Damn. Mikey, I'm... I'm really sorry. I've been playing Elamon for... three years. He was like... a friend. But you can create a new character, right? Yeah. I, I guess. Then let's do this shit. How do we start? Wait, really? You'll play with me? Sure, why not? We're not gonna let those shitheads think that they're better than, than the North Brothers. This is gonna be dope. That was a pretty intense one. Yeah. Thanks for playing. It always means a lot to Mikey. Seems like the least I could do. Pues... That's cute, I guess. Bueno, chicos, maybe. Say hi to Rachel for us. We're rooting for her. Chicos, me voy a mi novia barra. Hey. <laughs> barra amiga, Rachel. Sorry, I got angry at you yesterday. About the money. You were just trying to help. Uh, don't worry about it. You were in a, a really tough situation. A situation I created. When you said that Damon stabbed Rachel, I kept thinking, I'm supposed to look out for Mikey, not bring this shit into his life. I think you saved us from something so much worse. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Chloe. Vale. Tienen que vaya a ver a. Despierta. 
just heard the fire went out. Those guys out. look exhausted. You mean it's control? No. Well, it's it's control. Control. It extinguished. <laughs> Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah, it's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Vamos a ver a Rachel. Estará con el brazo vendado. Joder, le di una puñalada a mí. Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. Spoiler. <laughs> My guardian angel. <laughs> I saw Steph earlier. She says, hey. <laughs> Steph's so cute. But not as cute as you. Stop. What's it up, Rachel? I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. What did you say, Eve? Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him. For everything he's done. But... It felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like, on Mount Hood. <laughs> Would you do something for me? I get help. Anything. Sarah. Your mom. <laughs> So weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But I think I still want to meet her. I feel.
figured you would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> but if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this. Don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under no, the mat. Su casa. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. Bueno, que se muerto. Dama que reto, eso que pintas tiene. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey, wait, your hair is. El ligue de Chloe. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it's nice. A uh, nice balloon, I guess. Moment <laughs> incomodo. Yeah, it's from Mikey. Were you just in there? I'm actually here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay. Es en plan. Well, that's good. I guess I'll stop by after I see Mikey. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right. Of course. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are. You know. I won't judge. It's out. Nothing we Pero can't no handle. Tampoco de contar. Chloe! I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately. Right? So what? So... Obviously, something is going on. I swear, man. Everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Chicos. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Mira la mira. 
Sigue a mi lado. No, no, pero no me. Ahora que lo cogerá su nuevo coche, queda por ahí. De, de marcha, tope. Esa es su pa. Julio. El cumpleaños de Amber. Joder, qué rápido hemos llegado. Mm -mm. Hello. El código de la... Qué puta la salida. I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that... Ángel, puerto de nieve. La virgen como gita las puertas. It's the big one. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Best dad. Mejor padre, pues vaya. That stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. Por eso, chicos, hay que investigar el edificio. Ya sabe. The secret key. A ver, mucha más secreto. Now to find the secret lock. Alto. escrito un nuevo capítulo resumiendo lo que ha pasado eh, cajón cerrado Sheldon why do I feel like I've heard that name before I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. <laughs> James sure keeps lots of files on people. Pintada, tía. Pintas todo, capulla. Que claro, que pinta un barco ahí. Qué capulla. Puedo sí. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Sobre la, la madre, envía a ese hombre que me entre. O sea, le envía el padre a alguien a. El padre de Rex envía para que mate 
sea, para que haga callar a alguien. Y luego... Bueno chicos, por aquí dejo el capítulo. Abriendo el cajón de aquí dentro, así que nada, quedo aquí y nos vemos en el siguiente capítulo, chavales. Bye.